dear friends welcome back to faith talks this is episode 2 and i am so blessed by all the messages and encouraging word i have received from the past episode and i know that many of you are blessed by it and as we are talking on finances and especially how we can believe god for finances i believe as we learn through this in these coming weeks god will really open up our eyes to know what he has stored for us right and it's god's desire to see us blessed and it's his uh, it's commandment in a in a way that we should walk in blessing so uh, yeah let's continue more into it and i would encourage you guys to share this video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel please do so as we are going to bring many uh, uh, great stuff to you guys in the coming days so yes so that you can stay connected so i just want to take your attention to uh, first john first john chapter 5 verse 4 it says for whatever is born of god overcomes the world i'll just take your attention to this first part first and talk about it it says whatever is born of god overcomes the world so this is in a sense giving us an instruction it says son daughter you are born of me and it is your responsibility it is your mandate and you have the power to live a life of victory to overcome this world right many times i've heard people say you know i was not born in a very good family i did not have the right schooling i did not have the right education i don't have the perfect job but you really have to remember that it is not where you come from that determines it is who you are born of you are born of your heavenly father right and the heavenly father desires for you to walk in prosperity walk in fullness of life and that's why in john 10 10 we read that i have come to give you life and life abundant it's not just a miserable life that somehow you will pass through this 80 100 years on this earth and one day you will die and then you'll go to heaven and then you rejoice god's prayer was father i pray let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven the mandate that jesus walked on this earth for three and a half years is to bring heaven down he was cleansing the leper raising the dead setting people free the first thing that jesus said that the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel and the gospel is this amazing good news which is freedom from sickness poverty curses you know the word poverty is a cursed word in the bible and for us as believers as a children if we are somehow in place of lack and poverty you have to rebuke it and tell it to get out of your house because that is not your portion your portion is abundant and abundant life so today i really want to challenge you to think more about this that how are we limiting god to work in our life right sam's chapter 78 verse 41 it says like this yes again and again they tempted god and they limited the holy one of israel i want to ask you today are you limiting god in your life in any area in any field do you think god cannot do what you're really expecting to do i really want to challenge you friends that we really have to open up our eyes beyond our natural thinking I'll come back to this but let's read uh let's read Ephesians chapter 3 verse verse uh verse 20 it says now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think this is the capacity of our god that we serve he is able to do exceedingly above all that we can ask or think right but somehow in our human minds we are always thinking so less of his power so less of what he can do right i know when god told me last year that I should start a church and start investing into people's life and share this amazing glorious new covenant word i was like okay god i'll just start meeting people and at home and we'll just start somehow and then slowly god started to open up my mind as like okay god what do you really want me to do and then i was slowly receiving this word and god was really opening up my mind to think big so we started to look for spaces 
they like god and i was praying god just give me a small place where i can have 30 people and we can just sit and talk and have fellowship till the place that god really expanded my vision to see and we built this entire facility which can accommodate 100 people so this is all done when we had zero believers in church and for a natural man to think like that is like what are you even thinking but this is the will of god for every one of you to stop limiting god right when we started we didn't have any financial resources we did not have any promises any backup it was the only thing it was the word of god right the word that god gave we stepped on it and it broke every barriers every chains and it and it resulted us in walking in victory and that's a desire of god for each one of you that you walk in victory no matter where you are your profession is what you do today god wants you to live in victory so friends i really want to encourage you to take the limit of god if you think that you have limited god in any area in your life i want to encourage you take the limits of god don't look at what's happening around you no matter if it's a recession or it's a pandemic right i'll take you to one scripture i love the scripture it's it's in uh, it's in second corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 it says for we do not class ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves it's talking about stop looking at you in view to what's happening around you the entire world might be going through a famine but joseph prospered he had enough to feed his friends his his family and his entire nation and we've seen so much of god's hand even in famine even in pandemic and i can tell you that our god is not limited by natural forces and he is calling you to walk in victory he is calling you to to get on this journey with god right hebrews chapter 11 says then enoch walked with god and then it says then noah built by faith so this is all legacy these are all opportunities that we have in our life that we can walk with god we can build things in our life with faith right and in terms of finances i really want to encourage everyone listening to me right now that we really have to think big don't think okay god somehow you give me enough money to pay my rent think big thank you god that i receive my own house by faith not just my own house i will have enough to bless other people by faith right don't just think god please give me enough money that i can have a bike one day thank god that you will have your own bike and you will be able to bless other people too right this is what god wants when jesus stepped into peter's boat he didn't just fill his boat the blessing of god was so much on his life that he had to call his friend he said guys come partake of the blessing partake of the blessing that god has given me so the blessing of the lord the prosperity is not just for you to hold it's for you to become a channel of blessing and the more i think about it the more i am sure that the blessing the prosperity the fullness of god is not for you it's for other people to be blessed through your life so take the limits of god let god do what he wants to do and today if there is a prayer that you can do with me it's lord take the limits of my mind i want to trust you for big things right as believers we should be the biggest dreamers the biggest visionaries in our nation we should have the biggest accomplishment the biggest victories with god and we have to stop limiting god with our small mindset so that's my challenge for you today dear friends that let's take this intentional decision that god i will not limit you through my small thinking I want you to do what you can do with your exceedingly great power in my life right so let's just pray father i pray that as your word came today lord that we would be able to take all limits of you and place our faith on your word because your word is powerful and it is alive and i pray that your word will bring wisdom and will speak light in every area that is shady lord and i pray that today we take the limits of you and we start to believe you for big things we start to dream for big things in jesus name i pray amen